In this Webflow tutorial, I'll teach you how to make a frosted nav bar or a nav bar with a bit of blur. As you can see in this example website, Banana, if we scroll down, you can see the background of that nav bar is not only sticking to the top, but also behind certain elements, you can see the text, for example, is now blurred. So we have this really, really super cool effect. And obviously you guys can adjust the level of blurness, the level of opacity, etc. So let's go ahead and jump into Webflow. Right now, I just have a basic, simple dummy project, and I have a nav bar at the very top. And I'm gonna go ahead and set this nav bar to sticky, for example. So it sticks to the top, so we can see what's going on. So I'm gonna select my nav bar, and I'm gonna go ahead and head over to positioning right here. I'm gonna change it to sticky and add a top measurement of zero, so it sticks to zero pixels to the top. And I'm going to give it a high Z index so everything pops in front. So maybe 4,000,789 or 98. Then I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and you'll notice it's sticking to the top, but we also need to add a background color. So in this case, I'm just going to make it very, very obvious. So maybe I'll just do like a pink or a purple. And not only that, but I'm going to go ahead and lower the purple opacity. So you guys can do whatever you want. But in this case, I'm going to put it as 86. So as if I scroll down, you can see it has an opacity of 86, but we don't have that blur effect just yet. And if you guys don't know how to make a nav bar, I've actually done a tutorial in the past, so check that out. But let's go ahead and add custom code. Typically, I add this in the nav bar, and I also add the nav bar as a global symbol. That way, that code is used throughout every single page. But I've also done a tutorial in the past explaining where to add custom code. So with my nav bar selected, I'm gonna go ahead and hit Command E and type in embed right here, code embed. You can also hit this plus icon and scroll all the way down and find code embed right here. So either way, I'm gonna drag it into my nav bar and I'm gonna go ahead and just paste this code right here. And all this is doing, it's opening a style tag. It's selecting the class. So this is the most important part. This specific class is nav. So we need to make sure that we're targeting the correct class name. And then below this is pulling in a blur of eight pixels and a backdrop filter of eight pixels. So you can go ahead and change these measurements, but I'm gonna hit save and close. And I'm gonna go ahead and give this code embed a class of global. And I usually put this as display none. Now, if you go back to the nav bar, it's very important to make sure that we actually have that specific class name of nav. You can obviously change it to whatever you want. I have it right here. And if I go ahead and just preview the site, you can see we have that blur effect with a, I think 72% opacity. So that's literally it guys. You wanna make sure again to put this code where it's reusable in every single page of your nav bar. But I hope you guys found this video very helpful. I've actually made a lot of previous tutorials talking about nav bars. You can check them out right here and I'll see you in the next one. May peace be with you.